Hey everybody, Melissa here. So when you create a table of contents in Microsoft Word, it puts dots between the header name and the page number. Well, those are called leaders, and today I'm going to show you how to change them or take them out completely. I cannot wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's insert our table of contents. We're going to go to References, Table of Contents, and I'm going to use Automatic Table 2. Now, as you can see, we have our table of contents. We have our header, our leaders or dots, and then we have our page number. Now, let's just say we don't like this and we want to change it. We need to select the entire table of contents. Now, I've been having trouble here lately with being able to click these three buttons, which is supposed to select the table of contents, but it doesn't. So I just put my mouse in front of the V, come down to the last line in the table of contents, shift, click, and that way I know for sure it's selected everything in there. Now let's say we want to change this to dashes, because we have the option of dots, dashes, a solid line, or no leaders. So let's start with dashes. With it selected, we're going to go to Table of Contents, Custom Table of Contents, do our drop down here on Tab Leader, and we're going to tell it dashes. Tell it OK. Yes, we want to replace it. And now you have dashes. Let's select it again. Table of Contents, Custom, and let's choose a solid line. Tell it OK. Yes, we want to replace, and we have our solid line. One last time. Table of Contents, Custom, and tell it None, and tell it OK. And yes, we want to replace, and now you have None. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the last one that you've selected here is what it will default to the next time you create a table of contents which is okay because you can always quickly and easily go back and change it. And even without the lines or the leaders, if you control click, it still works the same. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.